In 2011, there were 1,897 tornadoes in the U.S., and 552 people were killed. That's almost as many as were killed in the previous decade combined. To be tornado safe, you have to know the difference between a watch and a warning. A watch means conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather in and close to the watch area. It means be aware, prepare, know what to do when severe weather strikes. When a watch is issued, it's usually for a larger portion of the area, possibly more than one state, and it's issued for several hours. A warning is a different situation. That means that either severe weather is imminent or is already occurring. Either radar has spotted the tornado or a severe thunderstorm, or one may likely develop. Spotters may be tracking one on the ground. Listen to the wording of a warning to know exactly the location that the storm is in and the direction that it's going. A warning means you have to put your action plan into place. Take action now. A watch again is a preparedness situation. That means to be prepared and be ready and think about what you're going to do. If you're going to be out somewhere, such as out in an open area like this, you want to know where to go and what to do when that warning is issued. If you have no other choice and you're out in a park or an area like this, get into a ditch or a culvert and cover your head to protect yourself from flying debris. Ideally, you want to be able to go to a strong structure, an outdoor structure of some type. Many parks and recreational areas have those. You should find out ahead of time what a safe place is where you're going to be. If you're at home, you want to go to an interior room on the lowest floor and stay away from windows. A bathroom is a great place. Get in a bathtub, cover yourself with a blanket, a pillow, mattress to protect yourself from flying debris. If you can get into a basement, that's fantastic, but many times that's not the case. You want to be able to know if you're in a mobile home where you can go to get out of the path of a storm. Mobile homes are not a safe place. Also, vehicles are not a safe place to be either. You don't want to go under an overpass though. A lot of people have seen videos where people have taken shelter in an overpass and overpasses are not safe at all because when you go underneath those it creates a wind tunnel that actually makes the debris fly faster and can increase the risk of injury. Plus all the vehicles that are parked around that overpass, all those can be projectiles in a large tornado. To protect you and your family from tornadoes, be tornado aware and know what to do in the event severe weather occurs. For the Central Illinois Fire Network, I'm Larry Eastep.